Hi, uh, my name is Victor. I work here at Visa. Today in this video, we're going to go over Visa Developer Center and how to get connected. On the Visa Developer Platform, some uh, APIs require mutual SSL, but some other ones require a different way of connectivity, which is called XPay token. So you will see it once you create your app, you will see whether it's mutual SSL or XPay token or both for that matter. So um, we will go ahead and cover the XPay token now. On your dashboard, if you create an app that happens to use an XPay token, you will be given a different set of credentials. Um, XPay token doesn't deal with the certificates. It's basically username and password, except the, um, except the password is the token, which is created in a very special way. So you will see in a second how it's done. So let's use one of the APIs that requires XPay token. This, for example, does Visa token service. Uh, we'll, we'll give it a nice, nice name. And let's create the application. So if you notice, it didn't give us the private key. It didn't create the cert for us. That's because it's a one-way SSL. But what it does give us, though, is the API key and a shared secret. So we'll use both of those in a second. The tool we're going to use to, um, to test the connectivity is called SOAP UI. It's a web service connectivity testing tool, one of many, really. Uh, you can use any tool that you like to establish the initial connectivity. SOAP UI happens to be free and easy to use, so we'll just use it as an example. Uh, once you've downloaded SOAP UI, this is what it looks like. There is no projects, it's completely empty, so we're gonna go ahead and create our new first project. Uh, we're gonna want to use our Hello World app, which is the easiest app on VDP. It doesn't have any inputs or outputs. So uh, our purpose here is to test the connectivity and that's exactly what you want. You want it as simple as possible. This is the URI for the Hello World app. It's also available on the, in the Getting Started guide. So, XPay token requires a parameter called API key. And we can grab the API key from, from here. Uh, this is also explained in uh, details on the website. So um, if you follow the Getting Started guide to a point where it talks about the XPay token configuration, it actually gives you all the screenshots. So you can either follow the video or you can always go back to uh, the website and look at the screenshots. Let's go back to SOAP UI and create, create the project. Um, so, uh, no username, no password, but we have to add a script to generate the XPay token because it's actually a digest of your message and concatenation of the shared key and the timestamp. So, um, the script is again available in the Getting Started Guide. This is it right here. And let's first create a test suite because that's the only way for us to uh, introduce introduce a script into the SOAP UI project. So generate test suite, click OK. OK. Here it is. We now want to introduce the new test step, which would be our Groovy script. Here it is. We can just use default names. It's not a problem. Uh, we can now copy this. So um, in here, it's a full script, but it uses um, substitute value for API key and the shared secret. So you obviously have to use your own. Let's see, go back to the website and grab those from there. be the API key. Uh, 
and this would be the shared secret. So while you're at it, you can take a look at the steps in the script. Um, it's nothing complicated, but you have to do it in the exact right order. So here, for example, you can see that uh, we actually uh, uh, we actually concatenate the timestamp, the URI, the query string parameter, and the payload, which happens to be empty in this case. And that's basically how you generate how you generate the XPay token. Go ahead and run the script. This is what it looks like. That's your XPay token. Uh, this now needs to be passed in a special HTTP header. The name of that header is XPay token. And so um, let's go back to the request and make sure that we add this new special header. So um, back to... Um, Back to the getting started guide. Uh, probably a good idea to just copy those names. Make sure that you didn't uh, have any typos. So that's the name of the header, x-pay-token. Just go ahead and copy this. And the value for the header is going to be a special value because we're going to take the reference from the script. So the script actually created the token and stored it in, a, in an environment variable. So that's where we want to grab it. And this is basically the way to use those global variables in SOAP UI. But all it does, uh, it basically takes the XPay token that we generated a second ago. So that's the new header. Let's go ahead and uh, see if it works. Okay, so this is the success message. We again got hello world and a timestamp. It means that our XPay token worked. So this is it. If you have any questions, please uh, feel free to email us, developer at visa.com. And we're looking forward to talking to you. Thank you.